Alan Turing, Dwight D. Eisenhower, Franklin D. Roosevelt, George S. Patton, the hidden story of four heroes from World War II, the brilliant mathematician and codebreaker Alan Turing. Amidst the war, Turing's intellect extended beyond deciphering enemy codes. Turing was fascinated by the human mind. He envisioned creating an artificial brain, a machine that could simulate human thought processes. Turing's concept, initially conceived to aid codebreaking, laid the foundation for what we now know as artificial intelligence. Turing's ideas culminated in the development of the Bombay, an electromechanical device designed to decipher enigma-encoded messages. What many overlook is that this machine, in essence, marked the birth of early artificial intelligence. Turing's pursuit of creating a machine capable of learning and adapting became a cornerstone for future AI research. Turing's bomb was instrumental in the Allied victory. Turing's groundbreaking concepts paved the way for the development of modern computing and AI technologies. Next, we have Dwight D. Eisenhower. He is widely known for his military leadership. There's a little-known tale involving an unlikely friendship that profoundly influenced the course of the war. In the early 1940s, Eisenhower forged an unexpected bond with British Field Marshal Bernard Montgomery, his counterpart in the Allied forces. Their camaraderie, however, went beyond war strategy. The duo shared a passion for the sport of poker, often engaging in late-night card games to unwind from the pressures of command. These poker sessions, held in the back rooms of military headquarters, became a breeding ground for collaboration. The informal setting allowed Eisenhower and Montgomery to discuss plans, share insights, and build a level of trust crucial to the success of joint military operations. The unassuming poker table thus became an unconventional yet effective platform for strategic discussions. The third hero, Franklin D. Roosevelt, who was also famous for the leadership. In the early 1940s, Roosevelt was introduced to the concept of the Manhattan Project, a clandestine effort to develop the atomic bomb. What many don't realize is that Roosevelt, a polio survivor, had a personal stake in this scientific endeavor. His experiences with paralysis fueled a deep desire for medical advancements that could alleviate human suffering. He was recognizing the potential of nuclear energy beyond weaponry, encouraged scientists to explore peaceful applications, Unbeknownst to many, he played a crucial role in the establishment of the Atomic Energy Commission, laying the groundwork for the peaceful use of atomic energy in medicine and industry. Roosevelt's vision extended beyond the immediate wartime needs, foreseeing a post-war world shaped by scientific progress. The outcome of Roosevelt's involvement in the Manhattan Project reached far beyond the war's end. His foresight paved the way for the development of nuclear medicine, leading to breakthroughs in cancer treatment and diagnostics. The same scientific principles that fueled destructive weaponry also became a force for healing and progress. Lastly, a charismatic and demanding leader, George S. Patton. He had a deep appreciation for the power of morale on the battlefield. Amidst the challenges of war, he discovered an unusual source of inspiration, spiritualism. Patton developed a belief in reincarnation and claimed to be a reincarnated warrior from various historical periods, including ancient Rome. Embracing this belief, Patton incorporated elements of spirituality into his leadership style. He carried a pair of ivory-handled revolvers that he believed once belonged to a Roman general. Patton also engaged in rituals, such as visiting ancient battlefields and communing with the spirits of past warriors. This unconventional approach aimed to instill a sense of historical continuity and warrior spirit within his troops. While Patton's spiritual practices were unconventional, they had a notable impact on his troops' morale. The belief in a shared historical legacy and the idea of participating in a grand tradition of warriors added a unique dimension to the soldier's sense of purpose. 